guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barnetta and it is so good to be back and I'm so sorry that I have been so sporadic with my uploads lately. I am honestly in the deep depths of wedding planning. It's coming up so fast and I feel like if I'm filming YouTube videos, I'm not planning. And if I'm planning, I'm not filming YouTube videos or creating other content and it stinks. And this is also why this video topic is bubbling up because I definitely feel overwhelmed and even though I'm a little overwhelmed it doesn't mean I'm not totally joyful like at the end of the day CJ and I are just so thrilled and excited to be even having the opportunity to get married and especially marrying someone who is just so incredible it definitely is the right journey for us but it is certainly a high stress journey with just how much has to be done just how much you have to buy which really does encroach into that minimalist perspective and also the things you have to do so I love being honest with you guys and I am so happy in a way that I'm facing this because I feel like it allows me to just be more open and honest with you all and include you in what I'm learning as I move through this process of trying to live minimally but most importantly simply and I have lately felt like this, this little bubble I've been able to create of having all of the things that I feel like are in balance has so burst since wedding planning. And this really is a good problem to have. It's almost like, like a first world problem. But when you're trying to not have too many worldly possessions, not get too overburdened by stuff, it can become really extreme and a little bit intense when you're also bringing a lot of things in for this one day of your life. And that really is where this concept of is minimalism sustainable started bubbling up inside of me. And I I do think it is flat out. I do think minimalism is sustainable. And I've, I've spoken about this in the past a little bit, but just how the seasons of life change. I don't think I've really phrased it in that sense of saying seasons of life. And that sounds like, like a spice brand or something, but really this season of my life between minimalism and wanting to get married has showed me just how much things can evolve and how what worked for you six months ago truly might not work for you six months down the line. And I know I've said in the past, again, you make minimalism what it is for you, you fit it to your lifestyle, but I really do feel like now more than ever, I'm living it. Like I had this idea of who we were and who I was and what we were doing and it really has just shifted and done a 180. And when I first got into minimalism, as many of you might be doing this as well, I was downsizing from an apartment that was two bedrooms, one and a half bath, two stories to a very small space. and. Minimalism was fantastic because what it did was morph really easily into that season of my life. So when you're going from point A to point B and A is significantly larger to the B you're going into, it's like a no brainer to be like, yeah, get rid of all this stuff. I can uh, just make my whole life totally streamlined and it's no problem. But when you're shifting from that point B to point C where for us, it's a wedding and we suddenly have to bring on a lot of new things. Or maybe your point C is having a baby or um, getting a pet or something. Once you go into the minimalist journey and then have to have some sort of pivot into something that isn't necessarily inherently minimal, I feel like that's when you're really tested. And I don't feel like I've had such a strong test throughout this like year and a half or year and few months that I've been doing this whole thing. So that's why I've been gone because I'm definitely just planning, getting things together, doing up last minute details, the wedding's in June, so it's just coming really quick. But I'm also kind of like jumping out of my own skin because I'm not sure how to process this new uh, reality of that is our apartment. We're bringing in a lot of new things. Uh, like I have a giant antique mirror behind my phone as I'm filming this and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think I'll post it to my Instagram so you guys can all see it. 
but I didn't expect to have a giant mirror in our bedroom even though it's beautiful and it's just kind of finding that new normal when I've been so used to really having a streamlined space and then I think of things like oh the most minimal thing would have been to just elope and absolutely no down talk to eloping because I think when you know what's right for you it's right for you but CJ and I wanted to have this wonderful event where we could celebrate with all of our friends and family our official start to our married life and that's a big deal for us and I think it is all about prioritizing what means the most to you but really I want to hear your, your guys' stories. I know I've heard from some of you that you have a large family or it's you on your own or you're going to school or you're just graduating and you're hitting all these different twists and turns and milestones and I just think that minimalism is this like beautiful support that can get you from where you are to where you want to go and now more than ever I'm realizing that I'm always going to be sometimes maybe really minimal and other times not as minimal as I had planned and I really felt like making this video was important because I know a lot of you follow some incredible vloggers and content creators and as do I and some but sometimes I look at their stuff and I'm like oh my god you are so perfect how can I get that perfect? And especially now that I'm in the realm of making content, I'm like, damn, your lighting's so good. Look at that bare shelf. Look at that empty closet. Look at that very, very minimal cupboard. And I'm like, sometimes I look at the dishes in my sink and I'm like, what am I doing? I, I, I really do, I always want to walk the walk and talk the talk. I don't want to just say, hey, this is my life in this cookie cutter box and I'm for sure hitting all these minimalist checklists of everything is white. Actually, I'm like in a sea of flowers right now. I don't know, with my floral print romper and this new quilt that we've just acquired. But like, yeah, I feel like I'm just kind of like bursting out of that bubble of what exactly it means to be a minimalist. And Part of me just wonders if this video was me coming to terms with how I'm going against the grain of what I had an expectation of as minimalism before even. And then also I just feel like I needed to make this to have that sigh of relief, not only for myself, but maybe for any of you that are kind of struggling and feeling like, oh, well, I want to be in that minimal box, but I can't because I have this going on or that going on and just understanding that this is going to pass and who knows like maybe I'll be able to get rid of all this stuff and I will be fine filming in a bedroom again down the line once the wedding's over with but for now I'm just kind of on this track of it's like dang we have all this wedding stuff and dang maybe we have to go buy a house I don't know but that's kind of where my mind's at. I, th I thank you guys for watching this video. I am going to have some more content coming up soon. I really do not want to ever make you guys wait two weeks again but I'm hoping I can get out at least in the, like once a week, but I have this other video I really want to talk about because I kind of have like a, a wedding confession I have to make and definitely is not stereotypically minimalist, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to make yourself happy. You got to be true to yourself and you can have a set structured beliefs in something you aim for. But I think that if we try to have that perfect mold, it's, it's just going to shatter in front of our faces. And I have honestly, been trying to practice what I preach and remember it you don't have to be perfect you don't so thank you guys for hanging out with me thank you for listening as always thanks for your support and I will see you guys in the next one I will do my best to post more on Instagram since I might just be a little dodgy here on YouTube and my blog but once June is over with I seriously think that we will be like back in that season of like all the time content creation and yeah, maybe again, I might go live. Let me know if you would like to tune into me going live because I feel like I just want to talk to you guys. And if you guys want to hang out with me, I want to hang out with you. So I hope you guys are doing great. And remember that there is no one like you. You are loved and you are beautiful inside and out. I will see you guys later. Bye.